Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants, both indoors and outside. And today's video is another episode of the Plant Miss series, my knockoff of Vlogmas, 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 where we talk about the 17 essential plant nutrients every day, counting us down to Christmas and today's video is all about boron. So if you're new to this channel you probably didn't know I just recently did a video about using borax, yes borax, to add boron to your soil. Ta-da! And if you want to watch that go check that out. So that means this video, while important because it is the 17 essential nutrients, will not be that long only because there is literally a very long version of this just recently posted not too far back and I will leave the link for that down below. So boron is an, a seven, one of the 17 essential plant nutrients but it is considered a micronutrient and it is particularly important when it comes to cell division and the new roots and shoots. So the apical meristems on both the roots and the shoots have a huge component of it is boron. So as you guessed that means it is an immobile nutrient and that means that it has one way it's a one-way elevator for boron and that is up so once it gets to the new growth that is where it stays that means if you have a boron deficiency or if you have excess boron in your system that it's going to show up in your new roots and shoots now given you're probably not going to know if it's a showing up in your roots because ultimately those are under soil but you can see it in your new upper foliage growth. So the forms that is uptaken is borate and boric acid. So boric acid is what we see in the borax for example it's actually the exact version that is bioavailable to the plant and this is done through root interception so this is again that mechanism where the tip of the root has to come in contact with either borate or boric acid either form and that is how it's uptaken and the borate and the boric acid cannot be too tightly bound to the clay or too tightly bound within the soil system and the bound or the, the level, the affinity it has to grab at those soil particles comes down to the pH itself. So if you have a boron issue, again, you're going to want to go back to the pH. You're going to want to make sure it's between that 5.5, 6.5 level in order to really make sure you're getting optimal uptake. Now keep in mind, as your soil gets more acidic, the more boron that is bioavailable. So container gardeners, indoor gardeners, or potting soil, houseplant people, anyone using a peat-based soil, I highly recommend adding like a lime into the mix. Um, and I did a whole video on lime or uh, potting soil pH because as it gets more acidic, more boron is uptaken. And if you have excess boron or lots of boron available within your soil, it may result in what looks like an excess or an over fertilization, which may not necessarily be the case. It's just that your pH is so low that there's a ton of boron just floating around in the soil system and it doesn't have gravity to hold it to the clay particle or soil particle, not necessarily clay, all soil particles. If you do notice that you have an excess of boron, water and irrigation will remove it. I did a whole printable. You guys can grab that with the link down below. It's free. It's just a PDF uh, showing you how to properly water your plants. This is particularly important for anyone using a potting soil or inside of a closed system. You want to leach out anything that's kind of floating around in the soil solution ultimately just to help keep that balance. Calcium is actually a uh, molecule that will reduce boron uptake ultimately. Unfortunately, <laughs> it will re reduce uh, boron uptake, but that's only when calcium is in excess. So if we're able to control the levels of calcium that are available, we are made in the shade. Now, if you're wondering how to add boron into the system, obviously borax is a way to do this. You guys can check out that video that I did, but another way is just through organic material. So this can come in the form of compost, manure, whatever the case is. I personally push for diversity, so different types of compost manures. I'm not saying you have to go buy five bags of each every year and you know mix it into your potting soil or mix it into 
into your outdoor soil. That's not what I mean. I mean, just every year, maybe rotate the type of manure or the type of compost you're using just to help supply different versions of microbes, different versions of nutrients, that sort of thing. But boron is available in organic matter in general. So as that breaks down over time, it will become available to the plant. So it's important to remember if you do choose to use borax, reflect on how much organic material you've added and whether or not that may or may not be necessary. And that goes for ultimately any of the nutrients. Balance is key because once you get out of balance, like for boron, for example, if you end up with excess calcium, then you can restrict boron uptake and it's gonna show up as a boron deficiency, despite the fact that there may be a ton of boron in the system. And that's because these little ions aren't just like latched on the soil sitting there and then they get released in the water and the plant uptakes them. They're all fighting. <laughs> they're all fighting to get into the plant root they're all fighting to get where it needs to go and they're kind of bouncing around they're not static in the sense that they're just in one location and unfortunately smaller molecules like boron are going to get booted out when compared to like a larger molecule like calcium that's all i have for you guys today on boron if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you've been around here since then don't lurk and be sure to share ultimately sharing is caring and that is the number one way i get views here because youtube doesn't i don't know push me out i don't know youtube likes me but just not that much yet they will learn to love me i promise you that anyways i want to thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you guys next time bye